everyone i hope you all can hear me i request everyone to be on your mats inhale exhale three rounds नहीं आ रही इनहेल एक्सेल थ्री राउंड्स लॉन्ग एंड डीप सिंक योर बॉडी एंड माइंड टुगेदर सिट इन एनी कंफर्टेबल आसन वज्रासन सुखासन और पद्मासन विल चैंट द मंत्र ओपनिंग प्रेयर जेंटली एडॉप्ट नमस्कार मुद्रा इनहेल थ्री राउंड्स ऑफ ओम कारा ओ संभो मनासी देवा भाग्यम यथा पूर्वे संचना उपासते संचना उपासते गुरूरब्रह्मा गुरु विष्णु गुरुर्देव महेश्वरा गुरुर्साक्षात्ब्रह्म तस्म श्री गुरु नम वेरी स्लोली टेक योर हैंड्स बैक इनहेल एन आर्च बैक exhale and come down we will take the blessings of mother earth gently come up palms on your thighs griva sanchalan asan front and back exhale front one inhale back to 3 four, 4 5 6 7 8 Nine, ten. Right side one, left two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten. Chin to the right, semicircle one. Chin to the left, two. Three, four, 
फाइव सिक्स सेवन एट नाइन टेन नेक्रोटेशन क्लॉक वाइज एट काउंट्स वन राउंड वन टू थ्री फोर फाइव सिक्स सेवन एट एंटी क्लॉक वन टू थ्री फोर फाइव सिक्स सेवन एट डू फार्मिंग and gently open your eyes so both day everyone once again we'll start with our first asan that is ek pada malasan and ek pada angushtasan will the combination okay so we'll sit in simple malasan sit down in simple malasan left foot will be on the mat so we'll make your left foot on the mat right foot you need to stretch it out like balancing here so you hold your same leg same toe stretch your leg support your hands lift up your left hand place on the knee and spine straight hold here one make sure your stretched leg knee is straight two three Four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten, eleven, twelve, thirteen, fourteen, and fifteen. Release. Slowly release, and now change. Change your leg. Change your hand. Initially, you can take the support of ground. so that you can balance hand on your knee stretch up 1 2 3 4 5 6 7 8 9 10 11 12 13 14 and 15 release come to malasan slow and steady and come up 1 2 3 4 5 6 7 8 9 and 10 hands from side so this was combination of two asanas ek pada malasan ek pada angushtasan in sitting position now we'll go for warm up warm up of 10 counts each okay <clears throat> so take your positions simple jogging of each asan 10 10 counts see warm up is highly required before we practice yoga asanas because once the circulations are maintained then what happens is your body your organs your cells they get proper oxygen and proper blood flow to each part so that is required before we move next one till touching your hip part 1 2 3 4 5 6 7 9 and next one 2 3 4 5 6 7 8 9 10 then pass One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, and ten. Next, Uttarasan. Half chair pose. Sit ups. Both the feet. Shoulder distance. Hands. Shoulder aligned. Go down halfway. One. And now, two. Up. Three. Exhale. Inhale. Four. Five, six, seven, eight, nine, and full sit-ups. One, and up. Two, 
up three four five six seven eight nine and ten next one super sunrise we can see from here so both the hands in shoulder line close open your chest nicely and inhale bend back one front two three and back four and back five and back six seven eight nine ten cross your fingers nicely you are giving bends and turns from every side of your body stretch up nice extension right side one left two three four five six seven eight nine ten hands parallel body to right left left right hand left leg touch and look up one knee straight exhale down inhale up two three four five six seven eight nine and ten next one hands on your waist right to right side left to front bend your knee thigh parallel look up one other side two and up three and up four and up five back leg straight six seven eight go down as much as you can bend and come up nine and ten hanumana sit up hands on your shoulders try to sit down on your right leg left leg straight one and up at the side two and up three skandhasan this is skandhasan warm up seven uh, four five up six up seven exhale down inhale up eight last count nine and up ten and up tap your thighs relax your thigh muscles inhale exhale see breathing in between is very very important okay thank you so location is indeed very natural and very beautiful one of the benefit here you can see is it's too open we can see the sunrise in front of us and water bodies it's very important if we have nearby water bodies the energy is the uh, what we call as urja that is totally different so the energies are totally different if you have a natural climate with the water uh, water body nearby okay next is forward and backward bending so both the feet hip distance inhale bend back exhale touch the ground don't bend your knees one two three four five six seven eight nine and ten hands from side so this was 
all the bends forward bending we did side bending we did legs muscle bending we did so most of the bending we have completed now it is cardio so cardio for all 100 counts no relaxation with spinal and abdominal twist so total 200 100 jumping jacks and 100 spinal and abdominal twist in between there will be yogic breathing yogic breathing you should always remember all the three sections that is abdominal section thoracic section and clavicular section will be involved when we are doing yogic breathing okay so take your position spine straight body straight inhale while taking your hand up exhale while taking your hands down so this breathing pattern you should follow throughout we are doing cardio very very important inhale and start 1 2 3 4 5 6 7 8 9 10 11 12 13 14 15 16 17 18 19 20 21 22 23 24 25 26 27 28 29 benefit of doing cardio not only the cardiac output your whole body circulation will improve now yogic breathing bend a little 10 rounds of deep inhalation and forceful complete exhalation do it 1 2 3 4 Five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten, and see when you when you are breathing, you can feel the difference. Your abdomen, your thoracic, clavicular, all the three sections are involved. Do it three more times and just check it. One, two, three. Relax. With this 10 breaths only, you can feel your heartbeat, which went up to 170, 160, will come back to 175, uh, 75. Okay, so normal heartbeat is 72 beats per minute. It will go up to 160, 140, depending upon your age. If you are a young or a kid, it will go to 180, 190, or around 200. If you are a middle age like us. it will be near about uh, 150 140 160 so it in, uh, decreases with the age now we we'll go to spinal abdominal twisting so both the hands in a 
aligned with the shoulders like this hands will go to one side legs will go to the other side so this twisting movement we are going to give to abdominal muscles and to the vertebral column all 100 in one stretch breathe normally and start 1 2 3 4 5 6 8 9 10 11 12 14 15 16 17 18 19 20 1 2 3 4 6 7 8 11 12 13 14 15 16 17 18 19 40 2 3 4 6 7 8 10 12 13 14 15 16 18, 19, 16, 2, 4, 5, 6, 9, 10, 11, 12, 14, 15, 16, 19, 80, 1, 2, 5, 6, 7, 8, 9, 10, 12, 30, 40, 15, 16, 18, 19, and 100. Feel the difference. <laughs> Okay. Now, hip rotation. Your legs up to the mat width, clockwise. Subtle asan to just relax your whole body. One. Full circular. Two. Inhale half round. Exhale half round. Three. Four. 5 and 6. Other side. 1, 2, 3, 4, 5 and 6. Knee rotation. Both the feet together. Bend your knees. Place your palms. Feel your knees. 10 rounds clockwise. 1. Two, three, half round inhale, half round exhale. Don't forget the breathing control. It's very, very important that asanas you do along with the pranayam. Other side and pranayam along with the dhyana. Each and every asana should be done with the proper breath control. That's why it is known as pranayam. Controlling the ayama of your prana shakti. Okay? So, first thing is controlling. Once the breath is in your control, then it starts expanding. Expanding means your duration of breathing becomes less. Normal person, it is 16 breaths. For the yogic person, it becomes 8 breaths. Sometimes, if you are practicing daily, it becomes 4 breaths per minute. Okay? Now we will move towards the first asana. Little warm up with the holding. So what we are going to do is hands up to the shoulder line. Try to touch your right leg to left hand. Okay? Start 20 counts to the front and 20 counts to the side. Okay, inhale, exhale properly, exhale, touch, one, and two, three, four, five, cross touch, six, seven, eight, nine, ten, eleven, twelve, thirteen, fourteen, fifteen, sixteen, seventeen, eighteen, nineteen, twenty. Now side touch. So make your hands side, right leg, right hand, touch, one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten, eleven, knee straight, nine, eleven, twelve, thirteen, fourteen, fifteen, sixteen, seventeen, eighteen, nineteen, and 20. So this was little opening of the hip joints. Inhale, exhale. Three breaths of relaxation here. Try to relax your breath. And then we will go for holding. 
Holding will be same leg, same hand, first to the front. I will show you. So, 15 counts. Okay, 10 counts. Properly you should hold. Both the knees should be straight while you are holding. Okay? So, hold your legs, big toe with the right hand, like this. And then, once you are comfortable, same leg, same hand. Okay? And then, try to stretch. Hold. One, two, three. Eka padang gusta asan. Three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, and ten. Release. Change your leg and change your hand. Just have a look. Left leg, left hand. Hold first. First, fold it. Big toe, hold. Once you are comfortable here, then try to stretch. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, and ten. See, you need very good balance and mind-body coordination. So your mind and your body should be coordinated properly so that the posture, especially the static posture, can be folded for long duration. Because we have some time constraints, we are doing with a limited time. Whenever you are practicing alone, extend your time and check your saturation level. It's very, very important to go beyond your capacity or beyond your saturation level. Now sideways. So right leg and right hand, hold it. Very slowly, firmly, first check your balance here. Hold, first we did to the front. Now we'll go for the sideways. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, and ten. Release slowly and steadily. Other leg. Inhale, exhale, and balance. See this whole one up 15 minutes. Once your body is warmed up, that warmth and the agony of the body should be maintained. It's very, very important that it should be maintained. It should not get subsided. Then only you will feel the difference in your whole metabolic rate. Now right foot on the mat. Left foot, hold it nicely. Balance your body here first. Once you are steady and stable, stretch to the sideways. One. And if you are a beginner, you can take the support of any fixed object. It may be wall, it may be chair. Be careful while you are taking the support. And then hold. Long and okay. Release. So this was opening the hip joint front and opening the hip joint sideways. Next. Okay. Next asana. Next asana is we are going to do simple twisting. Yes. Simple twisting. So twisting is hands like this. So this is very simple. Here we are uh, joining our feet together. So when you are twisting, your right hand will go to the left side. Twist nicely. One. And other side. Two. Three. Four. Five. Just to relax your whole spine. Six. And hold now. One. Two. Three. See your legs are six. Only your upper body is twisted. Now change. Change. Make sure your hands are parallel. Feet are together. Firmly place your feet. Don't move your legs. Only the upper body will change. One, two, three, four, five, six, 
four, five, and six. Drop. Next one. Next one is we'll go for the combination of three asanas. Three asanas combination. Adhomuk, single leg, chaturanga, and urdhumuk. Okay. Very very strong sequence. Very very strong vinyas. Adhomuk itself is a very strong asana. See, whenever you want your flows of the body should be from the lower side to the upper side, go for Adhomuk or any inversion asana. Okay? Check your alignment. So, check your alignment here. Wrist and show. Wrist and shoulders one line. Knee and hip one line. Properly place and lift up your See fingers open nicely. Lift up your toes on the mat. Knees up now. Okay. Body down. Pull down. Now what we are going to do is lift. Come to right leg up. And halfway down. Chaturanga. Up. Urdhumukh. Second round. Other side. Adhumukh. Leg up. Single leg. Chaturanga. Urdhumukh. Third round, body down, leg up, and up. Fourth round, keep on doing. Down, and up. Fifth round, leg up, down, and up. Sixth round, leg up, down, and up. Seventh round, up, down, and up. Eighth round, up, down, and up. Ninth round, leg up, down, and up. And last round, body down, up, halfway, and up. Relax. Relax here for three breaths. So this combination of three asanas in different form, Adhomuk, Single leg chaturanga and urdhumuk. Adhomuk is downward dog facing. Single leg chaturanga, forelimb, halfway down. And urdhumuk is upward dog facing. Now holding. Each asana, five, five counts. Five counts, right side. And five counts, left side. Check your alignment while you are holding. And check your body postures nicely here. Okay, wrist, <clears throat> come to your alignment first, now, toes on the mat, heel on the mat, knees up, press your body in and knee straight, elbow straight, hold, one, two, full down, three, four, and five. Lift up your right leg. Halfway down. See, halfway down only. One, two, three, four, five. Single leg chaturanga. Now drop your leg. Urdhumukh. One, two, three, four. Toes out. Knees up. Thigh up. Five. Back to Adhomukh. One, two, three. Four, five. Left leg up. Single leg chaturanga. Halfway down. One, two, three, four, five. Or the muk toe out. One, two, three, four, and five. Drop your body and relax. Relax for three breaths here. Inhale, exhale. And feel your whole body. So this was vinyas. Only three asanas. You can easily remember. But very, very effective in strengthening your whole body. Next one. Next one is come to a demand of lizard pose. So we'll go for lizard pose with dynamic form. And then 
static holding will be little less today okay so you can opt for so <clears throat> no little dynamic and then static so dynamic form first to give your body and open your joints first so come to the plank position uh, position check your alignment lift up your legs one by one okay body is straight right leg will come to the right hand okay like this see check your alignment shoulder and knee one line back leg straight look front okay now from here go down touch your chin and chest and change change nicely one and two three four five six seven eight nine ten relax relax here in three breaths and after that static five count five counts each five counts right hand up left hand down five counts left hand up right hand down same we will do with the other leg only five five counts check your alignment and move to the posture so check fingers open nicely lift up your legs knees one by one like this okay body in full plank right leg to the right hand come on your elbow here and take your right hand up and this right hand will go towards the left look back one two back leg straight three four five six seven eight nine other side we were supposed to do five counts we'll go for five counts only one two three four and five change your leg and change your hand so left leg aligned with the left leg right elbow on the mat right hand lift up and take it to the other side look up one back leg straight two three four five now change your hand change your take your hand up look up one two three four five release and relax relax here in vajrasan for three breaths inhale exhale nicely today we are going to do one very very strong vinyas we have not done from last one week i hope more than that so we'll go for soma shakti namaskar so this soma shakti namaskar as the name indicates it is very strong namaskar where your whole body gets purified because lot of inversion asanas are there in this so whenever there are inversion asanas the blood flow is towards the upper body and i will tell you what are inversion asanas inversion asanas are all those asanas in which your heart is above the head see when we are sitting like this your heart is below the head compared to the ground right so when we do inversion asanas your heart will be above the ground compared to the ground and with the head so that all inversion asanas are highly effective in improving the blood circulation in your whole body and most of the problems are because our circulations become weak our walls of the vein becomes weak and they start leaking because of that we get the swelling in the legs we get the twisted and <coughs> snake like veins so this is all because our circulations become poor by the time we grow by the age it happens now we'll go for soma shakti namaskar no holding just catch the postures we'll go hold 3 to 5 breaths only okay 
and inversion asanas very strong feel the blood flow and if you are a beginner don't come all of a sudden that is a precaution you have to take now pranamasan hands up sashankasan from here come to adhomukha swanasan downward dog facing from here see this is downward dog facing here also you can see that your heart is above the head and cross your fingers now place your crown like this so this is bhumi pada mastakasan walk towards your neck head hold here bhumi pada mastakasan sometimes also known as half head stand so those who find difficulty in doing complete sishasan they can hold this and it will give the same benefit now walk back come to adho mukha swanasan again downward dog facing from here come to ashtang namaskar eight body parts are touching the ground then urdhamuk then adho mukha then chaturang uh, plank kumbhak sashakasan ashtang urdhamuk adhomuk right leg up plank sashakasan ashtang urdhamuk adhomuk left leg up kumbhak sashakasan ashtang urdhamuk adhomuk right leg between your hands ashwa sanchalanasan balance here nicely then chandrasan look up knee straight and toe out plank position ashtang sashakasan then ashtang urdhamukh adhomukh left leg between your hands ashwa sanchalan chandrasan dandasan shashakasan ashtang urdhamukh bhumi pada mastakasan crown of your head touching the ground walk towards your head from here try to come to walk back and come to adho mukha swanasan downward dog facing full body down try to touch the forehead if possible knee straight heel on the mat sashakasan and hands up in pranam asan see if you have done this all soma shakti namaskar you will feel the difference your whole blood flow will rush towards the upper body okay so this is what happens is your circulation improves your heart cardiac output improves your blood flow towards your brain towards the chest that is lungs part increases towards the abdomen it increases and makes all your body healthy and pure removes the toxins of your body from the toxins from each and every cell of the body from okay next next is okay we'll move towards the we'll move towards the asan which are very very strong for your side bending and for your back bending okay so first asan will go for janu shirsasan janu shirsasan is one of the very advanced to medium level asan where you will see that your body 
especially the thoracic section and the lumbar section becomes very very strong so open your hands legs nicely as wide as possible for you okay knees will point towards the ground see don't lift up your knees this is very very important here so because we have done very good warm up warm up is not very required here so we'll go right hand towards the right side so turn your body towards the right leg and slowly slide down slide down slide down slide down touch your forehead to the knee or the leg whatever is possible 10 counts only holding and stretch your spine as much as possible 1 2 3 4 5 6 7 8 9 10 so this is janu shirsasan left leg now janu shirsasan janu is your knee part actually and shirsa is your head so your head should touch your knee part now very gently move towards the right leg slide down and check your knees are pointing to the ground don't lift up your knees hold your ankles and be there for 10 breaths one 2 3 4 fast exhalation here you can do 5 6 7 8 9 10 8 like. so this was janu shirsasan now parivarta parivarta janu shirsasan we will do with little variation so what you can do is right hold your right hand and left hand and left big toe okay and now knee pointing the front so knee will come to the front open your leg nicely as much as possible drop your knee down give only side bending from here take your right hand up up hold your left leg big toe and look up one two drop your body as much as possible to the ground three <coughs> Four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, and ten. Release. So this is Parivarta Janu Shirsasa. Now other side. So hold your right hand and right big toe. Hold like this. Stretch up very slowly. Knee, elbow pointing to the front of the leg. like this bend 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 and twist and look up one look towards the sky two three four five six seven eight nine and up very steadily slowly up see if you if you have practiced this you will find that your side lobes full side lobes will be open and you will find that your back muscles which are connected to your vertebral column will become strong so when this happens you will never have back especially of the thoracic and lumbar section so th- this is very very important that you practice this side bending especially in parivarta janu shirsasan it will help in strengthening your back muscles which are connected to your vertebral column now we'll go for bhumi bhuna manasar okay very very strong and very the asan which can improve your pelvic muscles hip joints back muscles all three together okay so what we are going to do here is very steadily hold and scroll down on your hands like this so move front 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 slowly and steadily so that you can touch your chest and chin to the ground if you are comfortable there here be here if you can go further down go further down and hold 1 2 3 4 5 6 7 8 9 and 10 
एट नाइन एंड बैक स्लोली स्टेडिली बैक नो डोंट रिली सी योर नीज मेक श्योर दे आर पॉइंटिंग टू द ग्राउंड सो दिस इज भो नमन आसन स्ट्रॉन्ग आसन फॉर योर पैलविक रीजन फॉर योर बैक मसल्स एंड फॉर योर ओपनिंग ऑफ द हिप जॉइंट्स इवन फॉर योर दिस हैम स्ट्रिंग मसल्स ओके नेक्स्ट आसन नेक्स्ट आसन विल गो फॉर थ्री राउंड ऑफ सूर्य नमस्कार वी 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 शुड ऑलवेज प्रैक्टिस मिनिमम ऑफ थ्री राउंड्स टू लेवन राउंड्स डिपेंडिंग अपॉन योर टाइम टूडे वी नीड टू कवर लिटिल मोर आसनास सो वी विल गो ओनली फॉर थ्री राउंड्स ऑफ सूर्य नमस्कार विद द लास्ट राउंड मंत्र चैंटिंग सो मंत्र चैंटिंग हैज डिफरेंट फ्लो ऑफ एनर्जीज सो गो फॉर द मंत्र चैंटिंग इन लास्ट राउंड प्रणाम आसन फ्रंट ऑफ योर मैथ सो फ्रंट ऑफ द मैथ बॉडी स्ट्रेट विल चैन द मंत्र हिरणमयन पात्र दट इज ईशोपनिषद फिफ्टीन टू वर्सेस इन हेन हिरणमयन पात्र सत्य साहित मुखम सत्षण पावेणु सत्य धर्माय ओ मित्राय नमः प्रणमासन हस्तासन पाद हस्तासन राइट लेग बैक अश्व संचालन आसन दंड आसन आष्टांग नमस्कार भुजंगासन पर्वतासन राइट लेग फ्रंट अश्व संचालन आसन पाद हस्तासन हस्तान सेकेंड राउंड वन टू एक्जेल थ्री इनहेल अश्व संचालन एक्जेल दंडासन होल्ड आष्टांग इनहेल भोजन एक्जेल पर्वत इनहेल राइट लेग फ्रंट अश्व संचालन एक्सेल पाद हस्त इनहेल प्रणाम लास्ट राउंड विद द मंत्र चैंटिंग नो होल्डिंग ओनली मंत्र चैंटिंग फोकस ऑन द मंत्र एंड द वाइब्रेशन वी आर चैंटिंग ओके प्रणाम आसन ओ मित्राय नम ओ नम ओ सूर्याय नम ओ भानवे नम ओ गाय नम ओ पोषणे नम ओ हिण्यगर्भाय नम ओ मरीचा नम ओ आदिताय नम सवित्रे नम ओ अर्था नम ओ भास्कर नम ओ 
पवित्र सूर्य नारायणाय नम हैंड्स फ्रॉम साइड सो वी डिड थ्री राउंड्स ऑफ सूर्य नमस्कार विद द मंत्र चैंटिंग लास्ट राउंड नेक्स्ट नेक्स्ट वील गो फॉर प्रॉन पॉस्चर very very strong prong posture we'll do today lie down <clears throat> lie down nicely and then see this cobra pose cobra pose i always tell you five Uh, different variations today we are going to do first variation 10 counts then we will go for salabhasan locust pose see locust pose is one of the pose where your spinal muscles your vertebral column muscles become very very strong so 10 rounds of bhujangasan feet little apart up to your hip distance elbows close to your chest check your alignment before you start for the asanas preparation and come up full up pelvic region down one slow and steady exhale down inhale up look up two three four five six Seven, eight, nine, and hold for five breaths. Look up, pelvic region down. One, two, toes out. Nicely drop your toes. Three, four, and five. Next one is. salabhasan directly holding directly holding of salabhasan will not go for warm up so take your hands crossed up on the back like this and lift up your upper body as well as lower body only your see your body will be on your abdomen rest all things will be lifted up 10 counts holding only lift up 1 two knee straight toes out three Four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten. Relax, relax here. Next asan. Next asan. Shall we do Vashishtha asan? Vashishtha asan. So we'll go for Vashishtha asan, and then we'll go for. Okay, so we'll go for vinyas, where we are going for the. We'll go for. We'll not hold along. We'll completely do the vinyas with the breath control. Okay, so come to the position. First one is. Check your alignment. Lift up. So, plank position. Check your alignment here. Abdomen tucked nicely. This is kumbhak. Check here and now, right hand up, very steadily. Look up, look up or look front, whatever is possible for you. This is vasishtasan. Right hand up. Now back, kumbhak. Hold for three breaths and then come to vasishtasan. Left hand up. Balance here nicely. Left hand up. body in straight line heel over heel so over to now come to elbow plank full elbow plank inhale exhale normally body straight now right hand elbow vasishtasan elbow vasishtasan look up heel over heel to over to elbow plank now other side elbow vasishtasan see today we are going only with the breath control whenever you have time you can go for total holding of the asanas for little long so if you hold this asan for 1 minute each 
you will feel that your whole body core strength is improved holding for long will give the very good muscle strength and flexibility now we'll go for this was little prawn posture we did see we try to come uh, do all four different variations four to five first one is standing asana second one is sitting asana third one is prawn posture fourth one is supine postures which we'll do now and then inversion asanas also we try to include daily so we try to make it holistic full uh what is required for your entire body living systems now lie down lie down last three asanas so ardha hal asan warm up then hal asan sarvangasan chakrasan chakrasan we will do first then hal asan and then sarvangasan before that we'll go for little warm up of ardha hal asan to support your back here leg straight so do, what we need to do here is both the leg straight lift up your legs 90 degree without bending your knees see check your knee should not bend okay slow and steady 10 counts only slowly down one exhale and inhale properly two slow and steady three up four up five up six a very strong asan for those who have swelling in the legs those who are suffering from varicose veins problem those who blood circulation is not reverted back to the heart they should practice this asan with the support of wall or directly in the dynamic form okay now we'll go for chakrasan a very strong asan for balancing your most of the chakras in the body especially the solar plexus manipur chakra and your swad uh, this uh, swadeshthan chakra your anha chakra all the chakras and this muladhar chakra so we'll go for chakrasan 10 counts halasan two different variations 10 counts and then sarvangasan 10 counts okay so fold your legs nicely nice folding of your legs place the your fingers in and wrist out this is your hand position check it so we place like this fingers in wrist out come on your crown like this first thing this is second so those who cannot lift up completely they should they can be here only and if you have enough arm strength lift up your body and make your arms completely straight walk and hold 1 2 3 4 5 6 7 8 9 10 11 12 13 14 15 16 17 18 19 20 21 22 23 24 25 26 27 28 29 very steadily release the posture with strength and release it and make it normal so this was chakrasan next asan is halasan halasan what halasan center center okay so halasan what we need to do is it's a very very strong asan plow pose is very strong asan as it helps in maintaining your this vishuddhi chakra that is your uh, thyroid problem it helps in activating the thyroid gland here and improves the metabolic rate of your body so lift up your legs and 90 degree first lift high up balance here and then try to drop your leg to the ground knee straight cross your fingers and try to lift as high as possible what two 
थ्री फोर फाइव सिक्स सेवन एट नाइन एंड थ्री हियर यू कैन बी और लिफ्ट अप योर वन लेग वन टू सी वन लेग इज ऑन द ग्राउंड वन लेग लिफ्टेड अप थ्री फोर फाइव नाउ चेंज राइट लेग डाउन लेफ्ट लेग अप वन टू थ्री फोर एंड फाइव नो फ्रॉम हल्लासन ओनली सपोर्ट योर बैक एंड कम टू सर्वांगा सुन स्लो एंड स्टेडी वन टू थ्री फोर फाइव सिक्स सेवन एट नाइन very slowly steadily release the posture and come to shavasan see it's very important while when you are releasing the releasing the posture should be slow and steady because the circulation is improving towards your head and all the inversion asanas especially the straight up leg up inversion asanas like sirshasana sarvangasana they should be always done at the end of the asanas so once you are done with all the asanas at the end you should do sarvangasana and sirshasana and relax your body in shavasana now both the feet up to the mat width little away from the hands little away from the body drop your body completely on the mat now bring your attention from the see from the toes to the crown of the head relax every part of your body with your visualization so from the toes very gently move up relax each and every part of your body to the crown of the head from the crown of the head back to the toes so we are doing there are three techniques first is instant relaxation technique quick relaxation technique deep relaxation technique so depending upon the time you have you can go for instant deep or quick relaxation techniques now very slowly bring your attention on the breath feel the cold air going in and the warm air coming out of your nostrils five rounds of complete prana shakti circulating in your body see this prana shakti which you are inhaling and exhaling through the breath helps in healing and circulating the energies wherever it is required within your body now join your feet together take your right hand up fold your left leg turn towards the right give nice linear extension to your body stretch your body nicely and come up for the pranayam part that is the fourth fold of your patanjali ashtang yoga so patanjali ashtang yoga is it comes under raj yoga raj yoga where we are practicing yama niyama asan pranayam pratyahar dharana dhyana and samadhi so this is the sequence we should follow to reach to the final stage of the ashtang yoga now spine straight eyes closed sink your body and mind together we'll go for cleansing before we start pranayam see cleansing is very very important in shatkarma also there are 
six different karmas which we should perform to cleanse our body internally and the one pranayam which is included in shatakarm is kapalabhati kapalabhati is a very strong pranayam to release the toxins which are accumulated in our body so check your nostril before you start pranayam sit in vajrasan and make your see vajrasan is itself a very very strong asan this is the only one asan which you can do just after meals as well so close your right nostril that is pingala nadi and inhale exhale five rounds only through the left nostril inhale now very slowly change your nostril inhale exhale through the pingala nadi close your eeda that is chandra swar five rounds clear your nasal passage before you start pranayam so this was the cleaning technique the cleansing technique so that our nasal channels should be clean when we are doing pranayam part now khand pranayam dui khand pranayam very strong pranayam for improving the lung capacity for increasing your immune system that is strength of your immune system see immune system your is your inbuilt doctor if you catch any infection anything then this immune system only will protect you if immunity goes down no medicine no even aushadis can help you only your self defense mechanism can protect you that's why the pranayam is very important in all the eight folds of patanjali ashtanga yoga so we'll go for khand pranayam in chin mudra inhaling into equal halves exhaling into equal halves 11 rounds very slowly stop the practice so this one pranayam can calm down your your whole state of mind easily it calms down now we'll go for eeda nadi bhastrika pranayam that is chandra swar bhastrika pranayam right hand in uh, right hand in vayu mudra index finger to the base of the thumb close your surya swar left hand in adi mudra you have to inhale long and deep through the right left nostril only so 50 rounds of 50 inhalation and exhalation of bhastrika pranayam that is only through the chandra swar inhale and start change your nostril change your hand left hand in vayu mudra close the nostril left nostril with left thumb right hand in ayu 
Adi Mudra, 50 rounds of inhalation through the Pingala Nadi, that is Surya Swar. Very slowly, make your breath normal. See, this balances your Ida and Pingala Nadi. And when the, these two Nadis are balanced, mm -hmm. the energy flow starts into the Sushumbala Nadi. This is the importance. Generally, the Sushumbala Nadi is in the sleeping state, unless and until we activate with the Pranayam by balancing our both the nostrils. Now we'll go for both the nostril Bastrika Pranayam 50 inhalation and exhalation in Adi Mudra. Hand, thumb in, fingers over your thumb. Inhale and start. Very slowly stop the practice and feel the difference. Make your breath normal. Eyes closed, spine straight. Both the hands in Surya Mudra, ring finger to the base of the thumb. Very strong mudra to balance the agni in the body, to balance the metabolic rate of your body. Those who want to shed the weight, they should do kapalabhati in this surya mudra only. Keep on your thighs, spine straight. We'll go for 200 exhalations of kapalabhati. Along with this forceful exhalation and passive inhalation, I will tell you one very important verses that is shloka of Prashnopanishad where it depicts about the prana shakti that is the pancha prana we have in our body. So keep on doing Kapalabhati forceful exhalation one second one exhalation idle speed. So keep on doing this Kapalabhati pranayam along with that just have, just listen to the Prashnopanishad shloka, what Maharishi Pipaladi explaining to the six disciples. One of the disciples asked about what is the importance of prana shakti in this entire universe and in this pinda, that is in this body. Then Maharishi Pipaladi explains about the prana shakti that all the gati, whatever is happening in this universe, all the motions are because of the prana shakti. If prana shakti becomes still, there will be no movement, no motion out in the universe as well in our body. So all the motions are because of the prana shakti. So he explains in the verses that prana sedam vashe sarvam tridiveyat Pratishthitam Mateva Putran Rakshashwa Shrisha Prachyacha Vidhehinayati. So, what does this versus this shloka depicts? This shloka depicts that whatever is there in this universe, 
is present in the prana shakti all the energies are there in the prana shakti so when we are inhaling exhaling prana it protects us very similar to the mother protects the young ones from that is mother protects its child from all the ailments all the adversities all the dangers same way the prana shakti protects us from all the ailments dangers align ail uh, diseases and gives you the prajya the wisdom and elevates your conscious level higher and higher and you become see if you practice this pranayam part you will be very close to the brahman that is the supreme energy and you will and you will understand the concept of this whole universe this is the benefit of doing pranayam all the breathing practices pranayam prana ayamah means pranasya ayamah iti pranayama when we start controlling and expanding our breath that is the definition given in patanjali yoga sutra now very slowly release the breath from the both the nostrils and make your breath normal spine straight eyes closed one round of agni sar kriya in surya mudra only so what we are going to do is inhale the breath exhale your breath out hold in bahya kumbhak and flap your stomach till you can hold the breath very gently release your breath make your breath normal one round of bahya pranayam see bahya pranayam is very very important pranayam to elevate the energies you have gained throughout the session from muladhar chakra to the top chakra that is sahasar chakra your energies will start moving upward and that energy movement upward will be through the sushumbhara nadi how will you get to know that your energies are moving upward first thing is you will become highly aware means your micro and macro observations will become very very minute then second thing is your conscious level will start elevating from the animal level to the higher levels that is to the supreme energy level the en- levels will incre- increase the dimensions will change for you then third thing is your ailments your diseases your body disorders will automatically cure when the energies are started moving to the desired required areas of your body the first thing happens this and then your soul your body will become completely pure that will happen your voice will become very soft and your aura will be increased these are all benefits you can you can directly observe now we'll go for bahya pranayam in this vayu mudra so index finger to the base of the thumb this is vayu mudra keep on your thighs inhale exhale hold the breath out in bahya kumbhak and hold for jalandhar band chin touching the throat pit Uddhyana band, stomach pull towards the vertebral column and Moola band, constrict your pelvic region and pull it upward. This is Moola band, all the three Mahabandhas in Bahia Kumbhak. Hold till you can hold your breath, inhale and start. gently release make your breath completely normal focus between your eyebrows ajna chakra will go for 
अनुलोम विलोम प्राणायाम दैट इज बैलेंसिंग प्राणायाम क्लोज योर राइट नॉस्ट्रल इन हेलिंग्स फ्रॉम द लेफ्ट हैंड्स आर इन वायु मुद्रा ओनली एक्सेल थ्रू राइट इन हेल थ्रू राइट एक्सेल थ्रू लेफ्ट दिस इज वन राउंड कंटिन्यू ऑन योर सेल्फ लेवन राउंड Keep on doing anulom vilom pranayam. Make sure your spine is straight. Whenever we are doing pranayam part, your spine should be straight. Your eyes should be closed. Your focus should be entirely on your prana shakti. This anulom vilom pranayam, as it is known as balancing pranayam, it balances your right and left brain. it balances your right side of your body and left side of your body and all the eleven systems become healthy when we do this anulom vilom pranayam your pancha prana that is apana udana vayana samana and prana they become proper that their circulation and their function see this pancha prana have their own functions so their functions become completely proper and 100% they will put the movements the gatis in the i told you prana the prana has the movement part so it all the move, movements in your body in your intestine in heart movement muscle movement pulse movement then gastrointestinal movements peristaltic movements which are going inside your body lot of things are going inside our body this is all it will be properly balanced when we do the pranayam part and once the pranayam when you start controlling and expanding the prana then what happens is there will be little more advanced level in this where you can control your involuntary actions as well see voluntary actions we can control but involuntary actions are not in our control but with the practice of prana shakti pranayam we get that a uh, capacity where we can control the involuntary actions of our body and when people those who don't know they call it as a miracle it's not a miracle it's just a practice and training of the body where you get the strength to control your involuntary actions as well very slowly release the breath from the left nostril make your breath normal feel the stability and calmness of your mind very gently adopt namaskara mudra we'll chant om kara three rounds that is pranav pranayam inhale vibrations of om kara in and around closing prayer inhale yogena ch 
चित्त पदेन वाचा मल शरीर चैद्यकोपाकोत प्रवर मुनीना पतंजलि प्राजलिरान तोस्मी पतंजलि प्राजलिरान तोस्मी ओ सर्वे सुखिना सर्वे सन्तु निरामया सर्वे भद्राणी पश्यंतो भवे ओ शाते 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 very slowly take your hands back inhale and arch back exhale and come down we we'll offer our salutations to all rishis elar rishi naman manna gently come up briskly rub your hands keep on your eyes circulate the energies within yourself once again keep on your eyes feel the warmth and gently open your eyes with a sweet smile clap for your devotion and dedication Thanks a lot. I hope you enjoyed the session. We'll see you on Monday again. Till then, have a nice day. And what? Okay, on high demand, there will be one special session tomorrow. Timing? Six to seven. Okay. Six to seven, one hour. We will have a special sex, uh, session of yoga where we will depict some of the things which are unknown to the common public. Okay. Till then, enjoy your day. We'll see you tomorrow again. Bye bye.